With Power Automate, it's easy to create an approval flow. This makes it possible, for example, to have a file from a folder approved by someone via email or via Teams. This is useful if you have many documents that need to be approved regularly, such as quotes, vacation requests, or other important documents. Let's take a look at how to do this. For this automatic action, Microsoft has created a standard flow that can be found in templates. Once here, go to the Approval tab and choose Start an Approval when a file is added to SharePoint. From here, Power Automate will guide you step-by-step -step through the entire process. First, Power Automate checks to see if the connectors are working. They are, as you can see from the green check marks. Click Continue. Now it asks you which SharePoint site to monitor. Choose a site from the dropdown. You can also enter a URL of a SharePoint site too. Next, enter which document library and folder you want to set up with the approval flow. Within SharePoint, folders are in a particular document library. Lastly, it asks who should approve the document. Enter their email address here. Then click Create. The flow has now been created. An important note, it is always important to test the flow before publishing it. This way, you can be sure that all the steps are running properly. To do this, click on Edit in the top left corner. A screen follows where you can make some changes. You can also add steps if you like. Here, you can test the flow by clicking on Test at the top right. You can choose between manually or automatically. With manually, you have to start the trigger yourself. With automatically, you don't. In this case, let's choose manually. It asks you to add a file to the folder so that all the steps can be tested. After that, the flow will start. As you can see, all the steps have a green check mark, and that means the flow is working. Then, in the email and in Teams, you can see a message with the created document, and you can approve or disapprove it. By clicking on this link, you can see the document first. The response is then sent back to the sender of the stream. Simple, convenient, and fast. Are you inspired? Try it now and automate your own work. Good luck.